Welcome back to another rig review and today we're going to take a look at the Tanner Saurus Rex. You can find that rig on Gumroad, link in the description with all the information. It is $7. I received this rig for free, full disclosure. And you can find it also on my animation preview site where you can find all kinds of rigs and reviews. And this is the rig in Maya. You can see lots of controllers, a lot of good stuff here. Let's go through it as always one by one. Let's start with the main control out here. You can move your whole rig around like that. But then it gives you also an inside controller here for this and even one more. So I always use these in case you have to change your pivot. So let's pretend for whatever reason your character has to be thrown around through the head. I don't know, something like that. Then you can do, ah, ah, you can do this. You can change all kinds of pivots. I'm always a big fan, especially if maybe for whatever reason, your character has to fly or something, whatever. You can change your pivot point like that. It does have a cog though here in the middle to move all this on top of a root. But anyway, these are controllers. If you select the main one, you have these options here, nothing crazy. Same thing here and the middle one as well. Nothing change here, no extra options in terms of resolution or anything. That is what you get. Now let's start at the feet. I don't know why, but that's what I do. You can select this one here on the side and you can see as other controls here light up. So you can see what gets selected. There's a lot of stuff here. And sometimes the visibility is potentially not super clear. I'll get to that later. Once you do this, you can see what I mean. So let's back to the foot here. So you have this, you have all those options here. You can see it's just the foot. You want the knee, then this happens here. And on that controller, these are all the options that you have. If you select this one, then you have everything selected. You can see the difference here of this which also selects this if you want pivots like that. It selects also this one if you want just this kind of pivot. And back there, if you want just this kind of pivot. So here you have this here and with this one, you have everything that pivots off of up there compared to this one where it pivots off of here. You select this though, and you do have options on this one. You have your, actually let me just check scale, sometimes the scale, not really. All right. This one has a toe pivot, which goes like that. And you can see where that pivot falls. Then you have a ball pivot, which is very similar. I would have loved for the toe pivot to be actually where the toes are. And then the heel pivot back there-ish. They are very, very similar though. You have a roll like this. Again, this is through the channels. You have these also on these controllers here. Like I said, you have ball influence, bank in and out, toe roll, you have your stretch. If I take this leg and go like this, it's blocked, but you do this, you can stretch. You have a dampen, softness, you have limb scale, of course. You have knee lock, which if you follow my channel, you know how much I love this. Knee and elbow lock is always great to have. You have pivot control viz, you have all kinds of options. It's very detailed, it's very cool, I like it. On top of that, you do have all your toe controls. You can select these one by one, go all the way back here and you can do all of this here. That being said, you also have controllers that are, again, sometimes the layout is not super clear. You have this one that's in here, you can see this. It's kind of hidden in there, and this is actually for this one. Curl for this, lean, the length of it, and all the other options. Again, lots of control options there, but it's for this, which you can, of course, also select separately. That being said, if you look down here, you do have the same for this. So you have your curl for this one, the spread, this is spread two, there's a twist and a lean and so on and so on. And that is for all of these. And you also have a bend one, two, three. That's like that, but then you can also do it through the joints and you can turn these options on and off as well. That of course is on both sides. And back there you have control for auto volume, root parent, you can change that to root secondary. So lots of options there. So as you move up here, you got your root. You can see this here, it moves everything. Then you have your root secondary. And you also have some squash and stretch, interesting. This is almost more like a hip control than a root uh, secondary. Now that being said, go back to what I said here, change this to root and you use this here. You can see how the influence is different and it's just using kind of the top part enveloping of that leg, it's interesting. Then, as you move forward, you have a lot of separate controls here. I can select these separately to change your root kind of in FK mode. At the same time, you can still move these around 
or IK and stretchiness and kind of kind of it's a controller scale not really a geometry scale but you also have this controller here that changes the midsection with extra controls out there as I said before you have the cog in the middle here and then it gets to the front part that you can move like this again extra controls on the side here very detailed and that goes all the way up here to the front if I select just these guys you can move them like that you can also just translate that around there's also a control here to change that section of the neck and you have your head where again you can move it around you can rotate you can scale if you grab your head and let's say you move this around you can see that this happens which is kind of interesting so for that you're gonna have to take this and move this around if you do select your head and you move this around you can always say follow fk control on off so you have some options there it changes your controllers to move the shape around for better enveloping better shaping and since i click this i'm gonna get back to that here's the interesting thing where you can change this you have options to kind of change how that form is of the head and it's kind of missing in the front i wish you had more options on the front part to change the uh, this section of the face you do have a jaw that you can see it influences only this there's a limit to it and when you close it it's kind of neat it does it mm -hmm, but you will get when you get close to this always upper lip movement and i don't see any controls to turn that off also that rig for some reason at least my version came with keys so feel free to uh cut these out of there and delete them now that being said though you have controllers here so if you want some jiggly wiggly stuff you have that scale nope no scale so these are the options up front since i'm down here you have your arms so you have this here where you can move your arms around like that you do have a sort of a clavicle control then you have your elbow control all the way down to your wrist move your wrist around like that now, as before, you have your finger and your finger curls. So if you go up here, and I want to hide this, you have the options here to curl them like that. And you got all your spreading options, twist and lean and all that good stuff. And at the same time, you can select them. Did I? Yes, I did. You can select them individually like this. Switching over to this side, you have those little arrows here. You select that. You have your elbow curves. Interesting. Somewhat limited, but I've loved more of a Benbow option there, but you got somewhat limited options there for your curving arm twist but you do have your ikfk switch so if you do this and there is a slight pop as you can see let's go back and switch this to ik and here you are here you have your ik arm with a sticky wrist ik so you have to kind of counter that and do this wrist pivot control visibility on you have this here and if you do that you can select this the sub controller for your wrist you do have an elbow lock which is always cool limb scale all the things that you want and of course as always it's on both sides left and right let's go to the top here you have your eye control goes around like that of course you have your separate controls and if you go through the separate controls you're going to see the upper blink and you can see that the lower one is also activated. I wish this would be a bit more separate. You can really just separate the lower and the higher one. You can see this. Uh, it's a bit too much influence for me. I would change that. The squint is just kind of a change in orientation. Um, not too super sure about that one. And you got your vertical pupil for more creaturey looking stuff. Then you can see here you have your eyebrows going up and down you can't scale or rotate but this is your overall shape you go into show nerve surface you see these guys here so here if you want more details you have that but again it's a bit limited i mean there's a max i mean you want to break the rig but i wish there was a bit more freedom in this it gets a bit clunky every now and then for certain shapes the enveloping is not super clean i mean it works you can always unselect the geometry Let's do this and hit three to soften that a bit if you want that definitely helps so don't forget that you have that option here moving forward to the nostrils interesting stuff here where you can move this around in terms of the shape here you can rotate this around can you scale no just the controller but again somewhat hidden here back there you have something where you can curl like this twist 
like this. It's interesting detail stuff for nostrils. And then the length is kind of off, so this seems kind of like, almost like a copy paste of uh, control options on this. You do have options on the mouth, it's a little bit more. Um, there's nothing you can move around, so you have to go in here and go through the channels and do that. And you can see how it kind of activates. It's a bit limited in terms of the range. I wish it would be a free-forming controller where you can change the uh, position of that mouth controller. Uh, let's go back here. And you also have cheek puff, which is actually pretty nice. The front up like that, there's a grin that kind of separates this and a lower lip like that. Still enough to do some basic lip sync, could be kind of fun. You do have controllers though for all the teeth that you can separate for whatever reason, not exactly a scale. And you have also the tongue controls. You can select these, I'm not gonna select all of them, but you can do this. Now that being said, like what is back there? You can see this here and that gives you a lean and length of the tongue with other options. This is somewhat hidden in there, as you can see. Now, since you're doing this, you're going, well, what is that? When you select this, it's like interesting, curl of what? It's actually this, so it's this controller. So for some reason, there are extra ones up there, but they do select the same thing here. So this, you have that, but if you want more of this, more Lambus bread, you can select this, and it does do the curl and everything, and the twist and all that, but it's actually of this controller. And if you select this one, if you look at it, it's the front one. So again, a bit tricky, I guess you can, is it maybe orientation? I don't know. It's a bit funky. I'm not sure why that's hidden. So watch out. I would for all the rigs that you ever use, I would always do that kind of mode to see what is going on. Going back to the tail, this is pretty interesting. You have this option if you just select that top part, which gives you a overall curl, and of course twist and lean and length. But you can also do the bend like that if you want. If you do a curl like this, but you, you, I don't know, maybe you don't want to do this or you don't want to have too many influences there, you can turn off joint influence, which is this curl factor here. But these guys are still there. And of course, you can operate these separately. So I can take this, rotate this, and you can also translate if you want. I can go in here, and here's another controller that gives you, again, the curl. But you can't move anything around. So this seems to be just for that option you have more options in terms of settings and visibility it's interesting to have these separated on both so you can do a curl this way and let me test this if you can go a curl down you can it's kind of weird counter things so be mindful of that these are all the options until the end so lots of options for your tail if you want to animate this as you should and i believe that's that i looked around before i checked everything out this is all i could find fairly robust and as you can see also if you just move the rig around it's a very light rig and some fun options i wish the face would be a bit more detailed especially around the eyes for some more shapers and maybe more detailed shapers around the mouth there and i'm not a huge fan of extra influence on something like this as you go up i would like to do that manually uh, but it has a really cute shape it's a cute face as you do this and i'm all for more cartoony looking characters now, speaking of rigs, if you do have a rig and you want me to review it and take a look at it, feel free to email me. And of course, the usual YouTube ending. You can like if you want and subscribe. If you subscribe, you will not miss any of these uploads, especially those rig reviews. I do post rigs here on my Animation Buffet site without always posting a rig review. So this site has a lot more rigs than I post on my rig review channel. And that is that for the Tanner Saurus Rex.